President Arif Alvi's visit to China on 16th and 17th March during a global pandemic wasn't an ordinary visit. It was the result of a deep-rooted understanding and mutual trust among Iron Brothers. The visit served as a great opportunity for the leadership of the two countries to review bilateral, regional and international issues and to advance the shared goals of promoting peace, prosperity and development in the region and beyond. The way China has fought the coronavirus is an example for the world and Pakistan would like to get an input about it. This wasn't the first case. Pakistan-China relations have been symbiotic in nature throughout history. The Belt and Road Initiative of President Xi Jinping has CPEC as its pilot project, whose success is demonstrated by projects in energy, infrastructure and the Gavada port, and people-oriented projects. CPEC enjoys consensus from all major political parties and has become a household word in Pakistan. Energy projects under CPEC have undergone quality checks and are eco-friendly. Senator Mushahid Hussain's words after a visit to 1,320 megawatt Port Qasim power plant early harvest project of CPEC. One of the important things that I have learned on this visit is that very, very stringent environmental quality control. Apart from being eco-friendly, CPEC projects are providing to be a catalyst in uplifting the socio-economic status of the Pakistanis. Not just in Pakistan, China is helping Pakistani students in their education in China as well. Pakistan ranks third in the number of international students currently studying in China, with 28,023 students, according to a statement issued by China's Ministry of Education. Chinese government took care of Pakistani students just like their own. The students thanked Chinese government and their university for looking after them in a letter. President Xi Jinping replied to them. One of the most prominent aspects of CPEC is that these projects are giving importance to the neglected segment of society. CPEC is helping local communities and women. Apart from energy projects, infrastructure projects are also adding value to Pakistan and strengthening the federation. One of the most prominent projects, Sakhar Multan Motorway, stands out. To welcome the completion of this project, Pakistan-China Institute hosted Friends of Silk Road Sakhar Conference. Friends of Silk Road event appreciated China for completing the CPEC mega project. Whenever CPEC projects are being discussed, Gawada Port holds central place in the discussion. As part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and by extension, that of the Silk Road Initiative, Gawada is of great importance. The port city of Gawada is a hub of connectivity for the corridor and an indispensable interchange for the Silk Route. The importance of Gawada Port has been recognized by all sectors of society. It is also evident in the tweet of Senator Mushahid Hussain. Other CPEC projects, despite coronavirus, are in full swing. Chairman CPEC Authority on May 1st tweeted about the Western route and said that work is in full swing. Pakistani and Chinese media have successfully countered propaganda against it. 
the speakers at 5th CPEC Media Forum organized by Pakistan China Institute and China Economic Net responded to the concerns of the United States with logics and statistics and succeeded in establishing facts that CPEC is clean. Moreover, Prime Minister Imran Khan on April 2nd ordered a relief package specifically for the construction industry and directed resumption of all China-Pakistan economic corridor CPEC related infrastructure and energy projects. Both countries helped each other in critical times. When China needed medical support from Pakistan, Pakistan helped its iron brother with an open heart. When China succeeded in its battle against coronavirus, it helped Pakistan generously by sending consignment after consignment. Till May 13th, 11 flights carrying 100,154 ton safety items had so far arrived here from China. The video of a Chinese lady distributing masks in Pakistan became viral on social media. Moreover, Prime Minister Imran Khan and Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa appreciated China's handling of coronavirus and urged the nation to follow Chinese experience. This great gesture was appreciated by Zhao Lijiang, the spokesman of China's foreign ministry. While acclaiming strong leadership of President Xi Jinping, the Senate appreciated China for treating Pakistani citizens just like their own citizens and thus became the first parliament in the world to express such solidarity. 25, 29, 30 and 133 of the said rules be dispensed with in order to enable the House to pass the resolution to express solidarity with the Chinese government on combating coronavirus. Please move the resolution. Increasing people-to-people -people connectivity is the hallmark of Pakistan-China friendship. Recently, videos of Chinese students singing Pakistani songs have become viral. China knows that water security will be the main problem for Pakistan in the near future. China rejected India's objection to the construction of the Hamir Basha Dam in Gilgit Baltistan region. China's support to Pakistan is not limited to domestic issues. Internationally, it helped Pakistan in safeguarding its core national interests. China and Pakistan took a unified position on the issue of Kashmir at the international level. China has voiced opposition saying, change of Kashmir's status is illegal. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Ji on March 18, 2020 categorically said that, no matter how things change in the world and the region, China will firmly support Pakistan in upholding its sovereignty independence and territorial integrity and dignity. Friends of Silk Road on April 3rd hosted the first of its kind all parties webinar on confronting coronavirus, in which eight different political parties participated. At the end of the seminar, a joint statement was issued which criticized those who are trying to politicize the coronavirus and stigmatize any country, race or nationality as this virus has no borders or nationality. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and Pakistan's ambassador to China appreciated China for its support to Pakistan. On May 14th, the Senate of Pakistan in its resolution, which was passed unanimously, Thank China for its support to Pakistan during coronavirus and appreciated Chinese model which successfully defeated the novel coronavirus. Federal Minister of Information Senator Shibli Faraz appreciated the deep-rooted relationship between China and Pakistan. On the occasion of uh, 69th 
anniversary of establishing relation, diplomatic relationships between Pakistan and China, I must congratulate the people and the governments of both China and Pakistan. This friendship, which started in 1951, has blossomed into a very strong, resilient relationship. It has withstood the test of times and both the countries have had a unique diplomatic relations. This relationship has also been not only limited to the government to government level, but between people to people. Whether it is CPAC, Kashmir or COVID-19, we have seen a unique and a very special cooperation between the two countries. God, I appreciate the long-standing efforts of Pakistan China Institute, a premier non-governmental organization, non-political platform, and they have done a tremendous job to promote and preserve this unique relationship. I have visited China many times and my last visit was in 2016 as a member of the parliamentary CPAC committee and at the same time I also had the privilege of giving uh, of being invited to a media forum, China media forum uh, as a keynote speaker on this occasion. Uh, China has been uh, a household name in Pakistan and we there is, this is one uh, country where our relationship is accepted across party lines it's a non-controversial relationship, which I think is in the history of uh, um, uh, diplomatic uh, relations. This Bark china relationship stands out and in, in every sense of the word.